I literally go through the fear. Can I still do it? You're gonna be burned out. There is something that I've adapted to feel. It's just what I do. Do you really want to be a footballer? about defining moments. All that just disappears. You know, that's what it's all about. My mind is focused. When I was 16 years old and I, I found out that I was you know, selected in the Australian cricket team and then a couple of weeks later in the Australian soccer team, they're moments that I'll always remember forever. The focus on winning and achieving is always about the team. If you're not quite there, there's always someone that's willing and able to take your place. She can be training for both sports at the same time and playing games on the same weekend. Often I'll play a match of cricket and then a match of soccer in concurrent days. I just always really enjoyed being active and being involved in, in different teams and, and playing different sports. Hey, she's feeling all right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw the next day. At least I actually had a run of injuries. She had a muscle strain. She had a bone sort of stress reaction in her foot as well. It's the first major injury that I've had. We spent a lot of time doing strength on her and we're just trying to get her as strong as we possibly can. That looks better. It's always probably a shock to any athlete when they're out of action for quite a while and she's a naturally athletic person. She wants to train. You get quite you know, frustrated at times and discontent. We'll see how long she can cope and cope with the demands of both sports at the elite level. They have to sort of pull that back and monitor that and be very cautious. It's been difficult and a bit of a challenge. Hopefully she's realised now, you know, she's not invincible. I think when you're younger you think you can, you can do everything, but as you get older you, your body starts to fail you. It's almost like you, you split and then you're in that position. Yeah. Whether she continues to play both sports up until you know mid twenties, that, that, that's really up to her. I think it allows her to be the person that she is, and I think if she wasn't playing soccer, she'd be maybe someone different. The attitude she brings to both sports is, is you know, is top shelf. I really hope that you know for the rest of my career, it's been it'll be as enjoyable as what the the last six years have been. and that you know, whatever it is that I end up doing or being is something that, that makes a difference to, to not only myself but the people that I'm involved in.